And just looking further ahead into the future in general, have you got any two-year-olds in the yard that we should keep? Yeah, well, for? we've. I mean, we're more than half the string is is two-year-olds. So. Um, yeah, I'm very excited by, by not only the prospects for the next six weeks, um, but also the, um, the, the the season for for next year as well. I mean, um, horses like Arbele, who who was a good third in the um, Solario at, at Sandown um, a month ago, um, he'll go to the Autumn Stakes, stake, stepping up and trip, um, and getting into the Autumn, he's got great big feet. Dark Angel, I'm sure he'll sure he'll go with a bit of juice in the ground. Um, Fajaj runs today in the Group the Group Three Somerville Tassel Stakes and. Um, however we get on today, it's a smart looking race, but I think he's a smart horse for the future and um, if, he were win, if he were to win today, it would bring into consideration possibly the Dewhurst or the Racing Post Trophy or, or maybe even the Breeders' Cup. And the Revenant runs on Sunday with a 33 Yes, the, 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 the Revenant, the Revenant um, of course, he's out of a mile and a half Group 3 winner and he's, he's by Dubawi who can do absolutely no wrong. So um, we thought we'd go to Epsom and, and see how he handled the track. If he didn't handle the track, then we might have to think about a different derby for him. But um, we're delighted that he, he won so nicely on, on debut. He seems to have come on since then and um, really looking forward to it. Another of your two-year-olds, White Mocker? Yes, we were absolutely thrilled with what, what my White Mocker has done this year. Um, He's a big horse um, and he's out of a, a very stoutly bred family um, and so he's you know, firmly coming into consideration for next year's derby. The mayor, the mayor stayed a mile and three quarters and yet he's got this speed um, that uh, you know, Lope de Vega has really piled the speed into him as well and um, he, he's done pressure little wrong winning two of his three starts and second in the other um, and he'll be starting off in, in something like a Craven next year with, with the Guineas and the Derby very much uh, you know, potentially on his, on his agenda so it'll be really exciting. And he won a race last, year, uh, last week that seems to have quite the role of honour? Well it does, yeah, I mean uh, the, the Haynes Hanson and Clark is a, you know, it's a famous, famous old, old race but you know, for one that isn't actually a, st a stakes race, it's been won by a lot of good horses um, down the line and the most recent of which was, was Ed Walker's Storm Antarctic that um, was uh, a Craven winner and, and started at a very short price um, for the Guineas and, and was very unlucky not to win the Prix Jean Pratt, which is Group 1 in France as well. So um, it, it takes some winning and we're delighted that he, that he did it so nicely.